な発表を、えー、発明させていただきます。えー、英語で、えー、発表します。Uh, hello everyone,、uh, my name is、uh, Fan Xin and I come from、uh, Fuji's group.、Uh, today、uh, my presentation title is、uh, Practice LTSI Test Framework and、uh, Introduction of the ESA2、uh, Test Site.、Uh, First, uh, first of all, I would like、uh, to make a, a brief uh, in,、uh, self introduction about myself.、Uh, I come from the uh, Fujitsu uh, group, and uh, our uh, companies uh, major, uh, make,、uh, make the in house embedded Linux、uh, distributors. And our、uh, distributor include、uh, the LTSI kernel, and、uh, it's built with the Yocto project. And uh, this uh, distrib distributor is uh, only uh, used for the、uh, systems and the products uh, made by Fujis,、uh, such as the server、uh, system controller and the storage systems and the network equipment and printer and so on. And you can see the fi、uh, figures in, in this slide. <coughs> and uh, okay, uh, today's uh, My pr、uh, presentation's agenda is,、uh, include the four parts.、Uh, first of all,、uh, I will make an introduction about the LTSI、uh, test project. And then、uh, I just make a, a simple e evaluation about this one. And、uh, I find some、uh, problems and give the solutions.、Uh, finally, it's the conclusion and the future work. Okay. <coughs> The first part is the LTSI test project in instructions. And、uh, LTSI is short for the Long Time、uh, Support、uh, in Initiative. And it,、uh, this project is uh, expected uh, to help those uh, vendors uh, get their code upstream、uh, to benefit the inter、uh, Linux community. And thus,、uh, we can、uh, reduce the duplicate effort. Uh, by the vendors, as,、uh, as, as you know, every vendor has their、uh, distributor of the systems, and、uh, <coughs> every vendor、uh, does the test.、Uh, and、uh, I think this is the d u p l i c a t i o n effort. And、uh, the cooperation act activities、uh, to mini minimize the fragment、uh, fragmentation.、Uh, in these、uh, figures,、uh, we can see that. Uh, each person has a piece of puzzle and、uh, they have the,、uh, different、uh, shapes of the puzzle. But if everyone can contribute the,、uh, themselves to、uh, the puzzle, and、uh, we can uh, get uh, benefit from others, and uh, uh, at the same time, we can, get the,、uh, we can help others. So it's a, a win win action. And then、uh, here is the is LTSI, a test project. And this project is to create a common test platforms,、uh, which anyone、uh, can use and reduce a lot of the、uh, duplicate effort. And uh, uh, this project、uh, needed to、uh, collect it or the gather the test cases、uh, from the companies、uh, to try to find the common parts and,、uh, among the companies and provided these common parts.、Uh, To test the LTSI、uh, distributions. And based、uh, on the gathered or the、uh, collected test cases,、uh, created the、uh, common test platforms. And、uh, here is the、uh, download link. And、uh, when I practiced about、uh, this LTSI test project,、uh, I, found, uh, I found it very easy to use, but uh, uh, there are still、uh, some、uh, gaps with my、uh, expectations. Uh, such as the,、uh, for now,、uh, the, the, the existing test case is、uh, still not、uh, so much, it's not、uh, enough, I think. And,、uh, and now the、uh, test project only provided the test cases or the test sets,、uh, but、uh, I think、uh, the test results also should be uh, shared uh, uh, and let the user know、uh, the test results. Okay, the The second part is the evaluation、uh, of the LTSI test、uh, framework. Uh, here, uh, I actually、uh, installed this、uh, project in, in my computer. And uh, uh, one, uh, in this, this part,、uh, 
And here uh, I want to uh, say that uh, this uh, LTSI project, uh, test project, uh, have a very uh, strict uh, requirement about the operating systems. Mm -hmm. It needs the, the very busy uh, version uh, operating system to build up uh, for the AMD64. And also it uh, requests the uh, web, uh, web browser uh, to support it, the JavaScript and the CSS. Uh, and this, uh, and the uh, institu uh, institution parts is uh, uh, very easy to download and uh, you, you just uh, need to click the uh, institution uh, script to uh, build up this, uh, uh, the GTA means the uh, Jenkins based test uh, Automations and configures the uh, environment. It's very fast. Uh, almost it takes uh, about ten minutes. And then uh, we needed to configure about this uh, test project. Uh, we needed to uh, because this uh, this is uh, fixed uh, fixed for the hardware board uh, test. So we need to install the cross compiler in our machine. And then uh, we needed to add the uh, board fail. Uh, but board, uh, board uh, fail uh, included the uh, what kind of uh, the hardware and the uh, IP address and uh, uh, such as the uh, root name and the password, uh, which can make the test project to uh, log in the uh, uh, board system and uh, make the make the test. And then uh, we need to add the test plan fail. Uh, which includes uh, what kind of the uh, test uh, we, we, we want to do on this board. And then uh, we can run the test. <coughs> After uh, we inst uh, inst uh, institution uh, about this test project, uh, it will uh, build up a website on our machine uh, and this figure. And here we can uh, see that uh, here is a menu. Uh, we can uh, make the new test uh, and uh, Make some operations, and uh, and this part we can uh, end the uh, board fail, a uh, board fail, and uh, uh, in the middle of this page we can see how many <coughs> the history uh, we have done uh, the tests. Uh, generally, it's uh, very easy to understand. And uh, this slide is to show uh, when I do this uh, evaluations of the environment. Um, my target device is a uh, first-scale first uh, Vibrate uh, VF600 uh, tower systems. And uh, <coughs> here we, uh, first of all, we need to uh, install the Debian operating system and then uh, install the cross-compiler. Uh, after that, we need to uh, download the LTSI test framework and build it up. Here is the board fail and the uh, test plan. <coughs> the, then the LT, uh, LTSI test framework will uh, build up the website. We can uh, just uh, access the local host uh, x0, x0, and uh, we, can see the, uh, we can see these figures. And then uh, the uh, test, uh, test project will use the SSH uh, connection to access the uh, tower systems and uh, <coughs> conduct the uh, system. It uh, means the uh, test executions were uh, conducted on this chip. And uh, after finishing this test, the result will be uh, returned back to the uh, website and we can see the result or the log uh, on this website. Okay, uh, <coughs> how to run the test? Uh, uh, when I practice about this LTSI test project, uh, I conduct a very uh, simple uh, test. It's uh, called the DC uh, computing test case. And uh, we need to uh, confirm the test environment. Uh, and here we uh, uh, define the devices as the test arm. And then we uh, selected the test plan and the DC exper experiment and uh, click the button of the run test. And then uh, we can get a very uh, <coughs> clear uh, log and uh, the results we, uh, we pass this test. And uh, then uh, we can see the <coughs> after about uh, uh, 16 uh, times of the failure, uh, we pass this test. And this test is very easy and uh, it's just make a, 
make sure this uh, system is uh, is uh, is worked, and uh, then we can uh, do more completed uh, tests on these uh, systems. And uh, totally from the uh, download from the install to the finish, the first uh, simple test is only uh, takes about four hours. So I think it's uh, easy to use. But uh, at, uh, at all these uh, procedures, I need the manual, and uh, I prefer a video uh, demonstration such as uh, the uh, YouTube uh, video or, or, or something like that, which I can see, and uh, I think this uh, procedure will be sh uh, shorter. And uh, uh, as I said, uh, it's now the LTSI test project is only uh, support the Debian uh, operating system, so I think it should uh, support more platforms such as the Ubuntu or the CentOS uh, that's more popular uh, of the, uh, the operating system that I think is uh, more easy to use it. And uh, here I would uh, to uh, say something about the problems and the solutions. Okay, uh, this is the release, uh, uh, release uh, time gap and in the uh, in the left side of this slide, uh, we can see this is the uh, development uh, kernel uh, versus uh, release time. And uh, here the Linux uh, version uh, 3.14 uh, is released in uh, this year's uh, March. And uh, then in the right side of this slide is the uh, release time of the LTSIs. Uh, and we can see here is the uh, version uh, 3. 3.14 and 0.24. LTSI is released uh, and this year's uh, December. And uh, I think here, <coughs> after this LTSI released, uh, the vendors will uh, do many uh, tests and release the vendors, uh, uh, distributors, all the systems. But uh, after that, uh, the development uh, Linux kernel will uh, continue uh, develop, uh, development and release again and again. Um, but this time, uh, when the, uh, this, uh, in this uh, period, the uh, bug fixes patches or the, uh, some, some things cannot uh, bring up to these versions. So I think here is uh, some problems. And uh, from the history of the uh, version uh, 3.14, uh, to this LTSI release, uh, there are <coughs> 2,000 uh, change of the of, of let's say, uh, the bug fix in this uh, procedures. So I think this will be uh, repeat in the next uh, period. And the next one is uh, also about the release time uh, gap. Is the uh, when the LTSI is released and the vendors has to, uh, has uh, so far the uh, vendors have to conduct a series of the tests uh, to validate uh, the vendors' systems uh, or the uh, distributors and then release them. So uh, this uh, test uh, procedures usually uh, takes a few months or more. So I think it's too late. Uh, here I use a fig uh, figure to uh, show these things. Uh, this is a timeline. And uh, for example, the LTSI uh, version uh, 3.14 is released at this point, and then the vendors get the uh, latest version of the uh, LTSI and make some uh, tests again and again. Then they can release, the vendors can release their systems or the uh, distributors. But uh, if the test procedure takes more time, and uh, then the next uh, version of the LTSI is released. So, and here is a, a, how to say, a, a little weird. Uh, for the customers, uh, because uh, the Windows system is not uh, the latest version. And uh, so, uh, how to uh, solve these problems? Uh, our idea is to uh, put the test procedure in uh, before the uh, LTSI list. So, uh, I mean, uh, put this red, red uh, procedures uh, before this point. And such, uh, we can, uh, the Windows uh, system release uh, also can shorten and just uh, later uh, after the LTSI release. Uh, so it's, uh, uh, let's say, the, uh, after the LTSI um, version uh, release, uh, the vendors can also uh, release their systems. This is the 
uh, how to say, uh, very idle uh, field tracks. So, uh, in order to uh, erase these two uh, time gaps, uh, we contribute our test state uh, to the LTSI test project communities. And uh, furthermore, by using our test state, uh, more hardware platform uh, could be uh, validated and evaluated. So far, uh, we only uh, use this uh, test case uh, to uh, test our uh, provided the hardware and the platform. So, but uh, when our other uh, vendors can use this test state uh, to test their, uh, their uh, hardware, I think uh, it's a, a contribution of, and, uh, and finally, uh, it's uh, convenient uh, for the customers to select or the evaluate the uh, various kinds of the hardware uh, platforms. So it's uh, uh, a very good thing, I think. <coughs> and uh, okay, uh, our contribution is uh, at the first day, uh, we contribute our uh, ESA2 uh, test state to the LTSI test project. And uh, this one is uh, uh, ESA2 is a uh, unity uh, for Linux uh, kernel based operating systems uh, to dis uh, displaying and the, uh, modifying some uh, parameters of the uh, network interface controllers. And uh, our, uh, you, by using our uh, test stage, because uh, this one is a very uh, common uh, test uh, element, and uh, it's uh, just uh, to easy to check the, uh, each hardware's uh, support uh, the network uh, interface controller's uh, features. Uh, it's a test that the command is supported or not. And then, uh, not, uh, not, uh, it's not only for the person, but also uh, the vendors can provide the systems uh, for multiple platforms, as just as I said, uh, they can uh, use this uh, test state to uh, validate or evaluate their uh, hardware platforms. And you can download this uh, test state uh, and this links. Uh, a very uh, simple, quick start uh, about this test state. Uh, when you can, when you download this uh, test state, you can see uh, five five uh, folder or files in this uh, a chart uh, files and uh, just uh, create uh, created the new test and the. Uh, LTSI project and uh, change the script name uh, to the ether2.sh and then uh, make the directory uh, in, in the uh, Jenkins test uh, folders and uh, decompress uh, de uh, de uh, uh, this uh, active uh, file to in, into the folders and then you can use this test state. So it's very easy uh, to use it. And uh, <coughs> we can use this uh, test state to uh, check whether the is true in the uh, kernel is uh, support the commands or not. And here we give a list of the uh, total uh, the is true command in the kernels. It totally has the uh, 68, uh, 67 uh, commands. Uh, so far, we finished the 50 feature support uh, tests in our uh, this time uh, provided uh, test state. And uh, in the uh, <coughs> here is a uh, part of the test log, and we can see that uh, some uh, some uh, some uh, command command is uh, supported and uh, it passed, and some command uh, command is uh, not uh, passed uh, is not uh, supported, and the result is a fail. Uh, so here I want to uh, notice uh, that uh, uh, this test state uh, need a uh, serial connections because it's the test about the uh, network. And uh, as I said, I just use the line uh, to use the SH uh, connection uh, between the Debian and the uh, hardware board. So if the connection is uh, cut down, uh, the, re uh, the test results cannot uh, return uh, to the uh, the host uh, website, so uh, be careful about this one. And uh, uh, the last part is the conclusion and the future works. And this time, uh, we practice the LTSI test project and contribute our uh, test state uh, of the named the uh, ESA2 uh, 
uh, to the communities. And our Fujis group uh, will continue to uh, contribute our cases or the test cases uh, to the LTSA test framework and uh, in order to erase the uh, time gap uh, between the LTSI release and our uh, distributions uh, release time. And uh, in the future, we will uh, continue to finish the rest uh, test cases and uh, continue more uh, the test sets to the communities. And uh, we hope that uh, you can use this uh, test set and uh, to test uh, validate more hardware uh, under this uh, LTSI uh, test project. So uh, let's contribute our uh, test states to the community together. Thanks, thanks for your listening. <coughs> Any question? Yeah. Wilson, you know what? Hi, you know what? Yes. So, the bow maker of the LTSI test project is a little bit of a test project. Yes. It's a little bit of a test project. Yes. It's a little bit of a test project. やってると思うんですけど。はい。そう、どこが一番大変だったかなっていうのをちょっと教えていただければと。あ、わかりました。えっと、そうですね。正直、あの、ここにすごくあの環境がデビアンだけで、あの、ここにすごく大変だった。あ
あの労働する環境だと,ちょっと社内の機関じゃないプライベートなネットワークでやったりとか,かそういうとこにコピーしなきゃとかなんかちょっと煩しいこととかがあってもまだ手をつけてるなるほどいやあのうちはもうなんかそこはねできないで困るから、まあ、手入れてるんですけど<笑>正直には手入れてるんですけど、まあ、そこになんかコントリビューションする余地が逆にありそうなあるんじゃないですかねしますねええー、分かりましたえー、とあとあの今 3.14 まあこれ設計者の 3.14 なんですけどえっ、ー、とあんまり言っちゃいけないのかなまあいいや<笑>あの 3.14 の需要面ではどのくらいこう今テストする環境で需要があって始めたとかっていうのはありましたあのうち今困ってるのはあの某社なんですけどあの 3.14 まだ使い始めてないので使い始めてないところでじゃあ、えっと、環境用意するっていうのもすごい大変だなと思っててでそうなるとやっぱり今環境、まあ、文国環境で作るよりもまず、えっとまあ、文国に行っても比較的あの入りやすいねでインテル系のモードでとりあえずテストするとかっていうところをや,や,やってるんですけど、えー、その辺なんか需要とこう供給がうまくバランス取れてる感じでやってますそれともあのもう自動的にこういうものが出てきたらすでにもうすぐに取り込んで、えー、とテストできるようなところまでセットアップされましたどっちですかねっていうのを聞いたいです<笑>なのでもう富士通さんの中ではもう LTSA が出てきたらすぐテストできるような環境になっているかそれともあのー、ちょっと需要もちゃんと見ながらテストしてるかどっちですかっていう<笑>、あのー、需要も聞いて回ったりとかして、はい、大体今 3.14 でっていうと、主に本当にプロダクトに載せるっていうと、来年開発するぐらいのところを目がけて考えてやってるので、まあ、来年、どの辺が必要とかで、じゃあ、どの辺の CPU 使うとか、そういうのは、一応、社内でいろいろ聞いて回ってやってるんですけど、あのまあ、その需要は聞いてやるんだけど、もしそれで仮にゼロだったとしても、必ず定期的にやっぱり巻いていかないと、さっきの野中田さんの、ホワイトボードじゃないですけど、定期的に回してで、さらに先端でどうなってるかとかをちゃんと見ていかないと、うん、なんかギャップがどんどん大きくなっちゃって、はい、突然バツになったときに、どこからバツになったんだっけとかっていうのが、すごくあ難しくなってくるので,で、最近もういろんなコンポーネントがあのお互いに依存してど、こっちの原因でこっちがリフレッシュしてるとか、まあ、そういうのが。あるので、まあ、定期的に見ていくためには必ずあの需要ゼロでもそれこそカーネルなんて 3.15 とか16とか17とかそうそう使わないバージョンであっても一応変化点とかは見るようにはしてます。そこは偉いなと。重要なものでいいな。あのなんいや。組み込みやってると、前よりやっぱ大変なのって、えっ、ー、と、こう、まあ、レバドラとかでコーティングした部分があるときに、あの、なんですか、それを、えっ、ー、と、コーティングし直さなくちゃ、次の上のバージョンをもう一回テストできないっていうのがあって、うん、で、そこはちょっと悩ましいところなので、LTSI でもそれやる余力があればいいんですけど、今ちょっとね、難しいところもあるっていうのは、今そこは今、私の悩みどころではあります。だからこそ LTSA の本当はパッチを投稿して、全部入れ,て入れ込んでいけばいいんですけどね。うんまあ、そ,そこはうちも割と悩ましいところで、ある程度割り切って、その末端のドライバーとかはそこまでは気になると思うとか、っていうのもあります。カーネルのテストだけに絞って、カーネル基本テストっていう意味で絞っていれば、意外とあの、なんでしょうえっと、大丈夫なのかなっていうのはすごくこういったエッテスリングレームワークでやってるといいんですけどやっぱり多分 LTSI の方では将来的には多分ドライバーのテストとかにも多分焦点が出ないかなっていう話を確かしてたと思うので,そ,うで、ね、そこはちょっと難しいかもしれないただ、えっと、LTSI になった時のカーネルコア部分のデブレが発生してるかどうかっていうのは非常にこういうのであの言っておくといいなと思っていますそういう意味だとあの、ベンダー依存のドライバーとかは、やっぱり
インテルの CPU の現代像のところはインテルがテストしてとかルネサスのところはルネサスがテストしてとかで頑張ってほしいなと思っててでうちで e s a ツールのをやったのはベンダー非依存で e s a ツールの API をどんだけドライバーサポートしてるのみたいなそういう観点なんでまあ,あのセミコンはなかなかやらないところかなと思って我々がやってみたっていうのはあります。逆にベンダー映像のデバイスドライバーのところは、ベンダー部でちゃんと NTSI の,あのコンフォーマンステストをやるとかでやってほしいっていうのは、希望ですよね。今までそれどこまでやってたのか、NTSI、よくわからないところもあったんだけど、昨日、村田さんがメールであのテストして、終わったよって宣言したのは、まあ、こういうテストの取り組みができてきたからかなと。ここに来てやったら、合同によってテストできる枚数が決まったじゃないですか。で、特にルネサスさんの合同って効果だったりとかして、なんかみんな数が長なかったりとか、流行らないところもあるから、あの、今日の長田さんが説明したあの、クォーターボードって、あれ、6万円ぐらいでしたっけって、確かに安いんですけど、ああいうのを使って、もうちょっとあの、早く、なんですか、環境を整えて、みんなでテス,テストケースを共有できるような環境を作っていかないと、みんなの教室の難しいのかなと思いますね。件数だけであれば、やっぱりあの、あの、ラズベリー会とか、うん、あの辺みんな持ってて。で、自分たちで回せるテストをどんどん回して。逆に回数やで、やらないと出てこないものもあると思うので。え、T. P. なんかね、回すたびに、あの。結果が違う。あります。ありますよね。あれ、違う、なんか、違う、あるから。まあ、そういう意味でも、まあ、みんなでやるっていうのは悪くない。
からアプローしてっていうのは全然お互いできるんですから、まあ多分できるでしょうね。だったらもうそれ取るのはいいですね。